Okay, Mr. Mukiri, Mr. Mukiri. So, um, conversation that we have to have today is a demarcation between spirituality and religion because there's a lot of conversations around there. And uh, from my little observation is that people are turning more to a lot of things. People are talking about manifesting. People are talking about energy. People are talking about the universe and, and all those kind of things. People are going for yoga, meditation, and practices that initially sometimes would not have fit in some of the quarters, especially within the Christian um, and other religions. So what is happening within uh, spiritual issues of religion and spiritual? For, let's, for a beginning, what is, is there a difference? Is religion and spirituality one and the same thing? Well, um, I, I think there is a vast, vast, vast difference. There's a vast demarcation between the two. And uh, one, one is not the mother of the other. Actually, one negates the other, according to me, because, um, well, well, to me, spirituality is, is essentially who we are, the, the expression of who we are, which is spirituality. Uh, religion is man's idea or man's concept of trying to find something external to appease what is within. Anytime, anytime man looks for anything outside of himself or herself, trying to uh, get in terms with what is happening inside, answering internal questions using external answers. That is what I call religion. It's, it's man's endeavor to look, quote unquote, for God, for meaning of life, uh, for source of life, trying to explain the questions that he or she has using external factors. And everything, I, to me, I believe, everything, uh, all the studies, every level of study that is external, studying rocks, studying trees, studying air, studying chemicals, all of these are man's religious endeavors to explain the questions of life. But if man was to go internal instead of external, then it would turn into spirituality. If he went within to look for the answers to the questions that he still has, because in any case, the questions are coming from within. So if the answers also to the questions coming from within, I believe they're supposed to be within. And if someone was to silence the voices external to go to the voice internal, he would get the answers to the questions that he or she has been having. And to me, that is what is called spirituality. Religion is the external mm -hmm. efforts to try to answer the questions mm -hmm. internal. And I, I, I think that is what why some of us, um, with a few conversations I've had, it has been reduced. We have reduced religion to rituals. Mm -hmm. We have reduced religion to what we do or don't do, where we go, when we go there, with whom, how we speak. We have mastered, for example, a flu, people speaking in fluent Christianese or fluent any other language. But uh, I, I, I love that. I love that that that, that language, Christianese. Yeah, 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 fluent Christian. I thought there was only Chinese and uh, Taiwanese, you know. <laughs> no, 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 there's Christianese. And, awesome. and, 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 this, and, this, and these conversations around religion then becomes a question of how many boxes of the religious rituals can you tick? Oh. And so how do you flip this? Because uh, uh, on the other side, I still believe that religion, as much as we would say it has a lot of things to do with ticking boxes, I think somehow it also introduces us to spirituality in a way. The only Correct. problem is when if a religion, whatever it is, is a gate to spirituality, then we don't, we should not come there. Because some people find this gate of spirituality in religion, but then they come there and they make this place the holy place, they make this place the high place, they make this place the only place where God can find. So how do we flip from religion to spirituality? Um, uh, in, in whatever religion that could be. Well, uh, it always goes. Go, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. It, it always goes back to the questions, the answering of the questions that we always ask. People have questions. Humans have questions. Events happen externally, then people ask them spiritually. For example, an event happens. Uh, someone dies. The question comes: Who died? Why, why is the body, if somebody died and I still have a body here, uh, the Greek, we call it the soma, we still have the body here, 
where did the person go or is the person still around all these questions and so um the the, the answers are within but now people for lack of awareness or understanding having solutions to these questions they create uh, what you say platforms is like uh, levels graduations try to explain these mysterious events and uh, they come up with uh, with the courses and and uh, and uh, and trying courses and counter courses trying to explain a lot of things externally so what you're talking about rituals so for example if somebody died died wearing red for example they were wear adorned in red and they died so a, a religious thing comes a religious idea idea comes sorry maybe asking the questions within maybe if this person had worn blue he wouldn't have died and so and so um and 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 so that religion forms whereby if you want to preserve yourself from the especially if two deaths happen almost around the same environment like the one that happened maybe the next person was wearing something brown close to red and so the death is associated with the redness and and so anything red is death and and and, and a religion starts that way so in order for you to 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 prevent yourself from dying you need to wear something else except red and the person who comes up with that solution uh is the one becomes a priest of that kind of a new religion that uh, seeks to prevent people from dying uh, dying red you know and so and so all these all these all these are are are, are answers are people who are trying to create answers and by the way for people to be to to create a religion there is always a focal point there is always a power of people have been taught by this person who in a sense came up with a solution to a problem and the people who do not want to pursue their own ways of looking for the solution i think they, they their they, own they ignorance now and come and focus around this this uh, this other person who quote and quote there is something from your end uh we having some feedback from your end either a phone or something could you yeah it's it's like perfect think, okay. yeah it's good Okay, let's let's see. Ah, yeah. There's somebody yeah. So there. instead of somebody, instead of somebody going to to look for solutions, they in the in the let me call it the laziness of their mind. Uh, they congregate up around the person who quote unquote seems to know, and so the person who seems to know becomes the one who teaches those who don't know, and so this one becomes their spiritual whoever, and so or, or their religious leader, so to say, because he appears to have a certain solution, but. Spirituality talks directly the opposite because spirituality says every one of us um, has a solution. They have a, let me use the word God, they have a God code on the inside of us. And that God code is what leads someone towards what they are supposed to be, even overcoming the challenges of external, what causes man to continuously endeavor to become better even in the midst of adversity i call it uh, advancing to the city in the midst of adversity uh, that is what that is that is inside each and every person if i hear you speaking uh, of the same solution that 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 i that i'm looking for it's not that i am supposed to follow you i'm supposed it's something that is supposed to tick on the inside it's something that's supposed to catch on you know like vibrate on the inside of people ah, i think i don't know how but i think i know this i've ever heard this it's not that you had it has always been ringing on the side of you it's only that it has never been verbalized externally but now when you hear somebody talk about it you go like i think i know this and so uh, in, in the course of in the in the channel and the way of spirituality the people who are resonating with the same vibration they tend to speak the same thing no one is above the other it's it's uh, it's people who are uh, showing or sharing their own experiences in the way they overcome situations no one becomes the leader of another but they come in in a is what you might call a fellowship a, a koinonia so 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 to say one becoming a strand joining with another strand to create a net that can capture something bigger than what the individual string can can do that so i think that that's how that's that's how the spirituality is supposed to be not uh, is the difference between a mesh and a net religion is so rigid is a mesh it's very static rigid wires being glued or whatever welded welded together to create a mesh something that is not pliable is strict 
it cannot capture anything, it's just rigid. But now that's different from strands, life streams, individual life stream, I and you. When we link, we become a net, pliable. It's not limited. We can capture something bigger than we are because nobody limits the other person's thinking or individuality, so to say. Ah, a good point. Um, would you say then that uh, religion could be limiting in a way? Now that you it is. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the word, actually the word itself, religion, is, is Latin, it's coming from a Latin term, relegue. Relegue is, is more or less like putting a yoke on someone. It's like the way you do an ox, you know, an ox is a tough animal, it's big, it's masculine, it's, yeah. it has power. But a human being can reduce an ox, an ox using a whip to making the ox think, because I feed you and if you don't do what I want, I equip you, then I can put this yoke and lead you to do tasks that I want. You know, and so I can put you in a certain shed. I can limit your movement. I can yoke you and cause you to plow for my benefit. And and uh, after I get I, after I get the, uh, the the grain, I can give you the husks. You know, and so yet the, when if the yoke, uh, sorry, the ox was to have a, 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 a an awakening, so to say, and knows who it is, who I am, and what I am capable of doing it will realize that actually the one it thought was the master was actually the slave based upon the power the you know the power that both of them. because with one who's got the horns the other guy will be turned into mist meat and so and so it is it is that kind of uh, kind of slavery that's what i call religion reducing a powerful creature into something that can be used in a certain channel to dig and to plow and to do the things that the master wants and so that's religion to me i think that's a good place to end this now. Thanks so much. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime. Okay.